I'm their mom. I think <laughs> testy I, testicles. I, yeah, I say that all the time. Do it. No, like I people. Okay. Yep. All right. Two one zero. Hey guys, it's Natasha with Nothing New Two Ten Podcast. Thank you to Vodpod Media for housing and producing, and to Latino Podcast Network for having your network. Guys, if you are watching, go listen. If you're listening, go watch. Either way, subscribe, like, share, follow, all that. Do all the things. Um, I promise you, and I say this every time, but I just have amazing guests. You're gonna want to see, physically see. I mean, with your eyes, who I have. I mean, hello, <laughs> hello. <laughs> so please introduce yourself. What is up, everybody? My name is Chona E. Chona E. e. She likes when I say it like that. I so do. I only do it for her. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, I love it. And yeah. I, I'm sure I sound annoying every time I see you. No, but... no, it's great. Okay. It just sticks. It's like when <laughs> Natasha's there, you got to emphasize the E. e. Yeah. It comes naturally yeah. now. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Chona, yeah. what do you do for people that don't know, which I can't imagine at yeah. this point people don't know. But... Yeah. If you're living under a rock. Um, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I sell... Uh, Life insurance policies door to door. I love that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and knives. <laughs> yes. Um, no, I'm a stand up comedian. So um, born and raised here in San Antonio. Yeah. Just trying to do big things, my guy. You are. I'm trying. I am so proud of you. And Thank I'm you. just going to start off like really cheesy. <laughs> like, and then we can get to like, you know, yeah, whatever. Yeah, the, but the like, greedy. I'm so proud of you. And I know Thank I you. haven't known you, you know, from like conception or anything or like yeah. from the beginning of your career, but. Just to see how much you've skyrocketed and progressed, but remained who you are, yeah, says so much about Thank you. Thank you. Because there are so many people, and I know you've seen it, yeah, that you know they get you know thousands of followers, hundreds of thousands, and all of a sudden they're like, oh, I don't, I don't do that, I don't eat that, I don't take photos, I don't, you know what I mean? Like they, it's like this thing, and I'm like, chill, bro. Like, yeah, I can't bring myself to even think of myself like that. Yeah, like I just can't. I good like i don't even it's when i have to talk about how many followers i have it's like cringe for me why just because it matters like when we're promoting things sure. and we're looking for sponsors but it it doesn't matter to me in the scheme of things i appreciate every single mm -hmm. don't misunderstand me i appreciate every single follower because if it wasn't for them you know giving me clout i i i, I probably wouldn't be able to succeed as much as i have but to start off that way, hi, I'm Chona E, and I have <laughs> X amount of followers. Yeah. Like it's uh, uh, at least goo. at least a billion. No, but I'm not even <laughs> close, dude. Like literally, if I make one bad mistake, I could be canceled in a minute. Like it's, true. it's. I mean, think about like the real big celebrities. Yeah. When they say messed up things, like for, in a week they could lose like a million followers, dude. I don't even have a million. I so I think that happened to Doja Cat. What? Yeah, she was losing like millions I, a day or something. Like yeah, like thousands. Thousands yeah. and millions a Pe day. And she like, doesn't care. She does she, she don't zero care. Fucks. I would care. I would I would be like, no, but well that was a yeah. good run. I mean <laughs> thanks everybody. Yeah. I'd be like, oh look, I'm really sorry. Like, yeah. Go on an apology tour. Totally. Yeah, yeah. But I mean at that point all your followers are gone because I don't have that many. In the scheme of things. You have a lot. Well, I mean, probably not. In that, and we're talking in that realm. Yeah, I don't have a lot. Um, you know what I mean? Like I don't walk around saying, "Hey, you need to give me free tickets because I have." <laughs> do you know who I am? A lot of followers. You're a local celebrity. Yeah, and people people do say that too. And that one's that one's also tough. Yeah. To spit out myself, I just don't take myself that serious. If that makes sense. Now, get me on a stage. Yeah. I take that shit real serious. Yeah. I'm like, I go hot. Yeah, you do. I go super hard. But um, outside of it, I'm just me. I'm a mom. I'm a wife. Yeah. I'm Chona E from the Palo Alto block, man. Yes. I from wish that block. was a song. Maybe Chona, we can make it a song. Chona from the block. Mm. Yes. 10%. 10%. You I, got it. I'll be your new manager. Chona. I'm just, I'm just Chona from the block. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Used to have a little. Now I got a lot in my stomach. <laughs> See what I'm saying? That was good. 10%. 10%. Thank Love you. It. Love Thank it. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I used to joke about being people's managers. You were my manager for a hot second. I was. You were my manager I for was. a hot second. And then all of a sudden you became a doctor and I was like, when does she have time <laughs> to be my man? And then a, and then a, a queen. Mm. I'm like, no, we got to we gotta find another representation, my guy. She's busy. I'm busy. Yeah. Forget it. It's a Dr. Queenager. Queenager. Yeah. I, you almost, it, um, when you were saying queen, I was thinking queef. Oh. 
beautiful, isn't so, it? This is how so I am beautiful. all I love the time. That so much. This is great. Um, this is how this we're going to start it off. I love it. I love it. Yeah. I'm well, I'm proud it. of you too, friend. Thank you. We met, um, you reached out to me to see if I would model your Fiesta shirts, you my merch. which I still have. Do you? You I do. Still, and I wear it from time to you time, do. my guy. I totally do. I I've love that shirt. It. Thank it, you. it fades beautifully, by the way. Thank you. And it never fades. Yeah. I should have said that differently, Thank but it you. never fades. Yeah. Well, I'll cut that out. It's freaking amazing yeah. quality, my guy. Thank you. Good for you. And it fits better. Yeah. It's a dry fit. Me. Yeah. Because you've lost a I've bunch lost of weight. I've lost 75 pounds. <gasps> my guy. See, now that, I won't tell you how many followers I have, like, introducing myself, but I have no problem being like, hi, my name is Trona, and I've lost 75 pounds. That's amazing. No, I know. That's, that's like an elementary school child. Bro. Literally, my guy. Yeah. Literally. I talk about it on my stand up sets, dude. It's great. You do. I love it. No, I love it. I love it long time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I literally can't be around you mm -hmm. and not like I tell people when I'm not exaggerating. Like every time I'm around you and not like at a show or something, like just chilling In when general, we're like Yeah, I'm usually this when we're hanging out, I'm crying, laughing. God, we have a good time. We really do. We really do. Like, you're fucking hilarious. I make myself laugh sometimes, and I'm not <laughs> trying to be conceited, but it's because it's because I say things like something. Okay, you cannot tell me I'm funny, right, and start laughing at my jokes because then it just, like, gives me this fuel to keep you're going. Awesome. And I'm like, are you fueling my comedy fire? And so then I just start going, and yeah. then I start making myself laugh. Cause I say some real stupid stuff. Hilarious. And it's like, it's just off the dome, my guy. Like I just, bleh. do you and Janeska. Oh my God. My I niece. Can't. Like I, she's a hoot. I fucking love y'all. She's a hoot. My niece, she's 10 years, my junior. She makes fun of me because I say that she's like 10 years, my junior dude. What are you old? <laughs> yeah, bro. I'm getting there. Like I say stuff like that now. Yeah. So yeah, she's, she's 10 years younger than me. But we are just peas and carrots, man. Like we, yeah. And then you get us together, forget it. It's hilarious. It's a laugh fest. I just sit there and laugh. No, I know. It's great. Until I cry. No. And then your laughs fuel, you know, our comedy. <laughs> it's like Monsters Inc. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> You're giving me energy <laughs> and life. Yes, absolutely. Oh, shit. Wait, like so that. who's Sully and who's like. Well, I'm probably Sully. Okay. Yeah, she's a she's Magowski. Mike. What is it? Well, I'm Mike Wazowski. I'm on Bogowski. <laughs> Whatever. We'll make it a new name. Same thing. I'm also becoming my mom, which is amazing. And you look just like her. Oh, my God. Here it comes. <laughs> yeah, but I'm 5'8 and she's like 4'2 or something it's like true. that. It's true. She's tiny. She did make me feel tall. Bro, she's little. Yeah. Yeah. She, my, my, my grandma was a little too. But the comedy comes from that woman, my mom. I took a selfie with her. Did you? She's really like a party. To. Bro, I mean, hello. She survived freaking amazing surgery this year. It's been a, it's been a ride, my guy. Yeah. Yeah. So how God do you actually, her. how do you handle like serious times? Because you have to make things funny, right? For people. So how do you handle those serious moments? That's a great, nobody's ever asked me that, Natasha. And you're bringing in hoard. Thank you. Dude, I am stupid when it comes to serious stuff. I don't know how to act. I, I uh, either start getting major anxiety mm -hmm. or um, I get real depressed right away. Or I, here's my thing, overthinker. Bro, I could make something, for example, when my mom was having, was uh, told from getting a, whatever that procedure was that they were checking the veins in her heart. What's the procedure? I don't know. Anyway, it was just a, easy thing then to them telling us that she was going to need quadruple bypass surgery i was already planning her funeral i was already looking at myself crying at the yeah. rosary i was doing all that stuff and <laughs> just was like there's no funny when stuff like that's going on with me i just can't it's off I, it turns off completely mm -hmm. um and the only ones that truly see it and i hate to say this but are my children and my husband because if i'm out in public it's like energy all day long it's something in me turns on that i just feel like I need to put on a show every time. Um, but I've always been that way. I don't know why. I always felt like in order to be relevant or to have people actually pay attention or to make other people feel good, I'm a people pleaser as well, mm. that I feel like I have to have it on all the time. So by the time I get home, I'm like this, just drained. Yeah. Superly drained. Mm -hmm. And and because I'm out and about with my kids too. We're doing volleyball. We're doing all this stuff. That. And so I'm turning it on there too. Mm -hmm. Always. 
always. So then by the time we get home, it's just like. <gasps> I feel the same way. Yes, dude. And I'm like not on the scale that you are as far as having to be on. Um, but I have to be on in like a networking business totally. professional. Hi, how are you? You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. talk, 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 talk. And by the time I get home, I'm like, good night. Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow and hopefully I'll be better tomorrow. Yeah. And that happens more often than not. And I think not a, not enough people understand that side of it. No, it's a completely different. It's yeah. completely different. Yeah. I'm, I, Something that a couple of comedians just learned about me. They've spent some time with me a few days consecutively. That one of them being Cousin Berto and, and Michelle Cantu. <clears throat> just recently here in Chicago, she kept asking me, what's wrong? What's wrong? Because I turn it off. Mm. And I just sit there and I'm like. And she, she's like, bro, that freaked me out. Like, I never seen you like that because she's only seen me for short periods of time. Got it. When you're so, like at shows and stuff and you're like on. I'm on. Yeah. But she spent three, uh, what was it, Thursday to a Sunday with me? Mm. Morning, noon, and night. So, I mean, yeah, I turn it off after a certain point. I just, like I can become completely introvert and not have any conversations with anybody and we can be sitting in a room and I'm just like, quiet. That's wild. Isn't it? I mean, same, but, but I'm not a comedian, you know what I mean? But I yeah. think not enough people understand the, that, like the comedian, like side of it. And like comedians yeah. are people too, and they feel things. And, and I, I always revert back to like Robin Williams. Like he was yes. the fucking goat. Totally. And he was like one of the saddest, saddest, people. saddest dudes. Part of, part of what, um, so for me being a comedian, um, there's that amount of pressure that I feel like I always have to have it on because when I'm not on and once I'm being serious in front of an audience, you start noticing I lose it. Mm. Nobody wants to listen anymore. That's tough. That's tough when you're a funny person. Yeah. Cause I, I've always struggled with finding people to vent to about things, to talk to about things because I've always, and maybe I'm wrong. Like maybe I'm totally wrong the way I'm reading it, but I've always felt like, Oh, they're, they're uninterested at this point. But if I'm laughing and if I'm joking, if I'm making people laugh, there's that a certain level of engagement Yeah. that I don't get when I'm serious. So I just leave it for my husband. I mean, I'm here. Yeah. No, you're so cute. I remember one time I was actually going through some stuff and you pulled me aside. You're like, hey, bro, if you ever need to talk, like, and I just looked at you like, what? I thought I was okay, but I guess I wasn't. Yeah. And then I text you a few days later and I was like, dude, thank you for that. Cause I was like, Ugh. yeah, it happens. I'm doing much better though, but Good. it comes and anxiety and depression comes in waves, dude. It's just, it's unannounced mm -hmm. and, um, for no reason. And you know, I'm working on little things that are helping me kind of cope through it and find those triggers, you know, but I'm just, I'm like, please God, just keep us, keep us on the straight and narrow. Cause I feel good right now good yeah i'm glad yeah thank you yeah um it's it's true like for people that don't know what anxiety is like yeah. it's it's terrible and I, it will literally come out of nowhere no nah, i've had my entire life i had no idea no idea i've talked to people that have had it i couldn't relate um and then we grow up in this culture where um i know i've heard it particularly in my own family you know extended family in my own family Oh, that depression stuff. It's like people are looking for attention, mm. you know? So when things started happening to me where I was like, dude, I can't freaking tell anybody. They're going to think I'm asking for attention. Mm -hmm. So you just kind of keep it to yourself. I think that's part of the stigma though. Totally. With, my guy. with like people of color, especially, but in general, in general, there's a stigma. Yeah. But I mean, I can only speak from experience, which is like being a Latina and that same thing of like, when I was going, I had postpartum depression really bad, which no. several people don't know. Um, it was very bad. And Scary. I was able to recognize it because of like my education. But outside of that, what if I you mean, wouldn't? Right. I was that's scary. And I would try to talk to my mom because like, that's your mom. Right. And my mom would be like, I mean, how like you just need so to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. You're just tired. Yeah. Yes. You're just tired. You're doing too much because I was still in school. Yeah. I've been in fucking school forever. No, and I know. so. They, she was like, you just, yeah, it's fine. You're just doing too much. You're just tired. And I'm like, no, mom, genuinely, like, I don't want to be here anymore. Oh. And she was like, stop. Like, shut up. 
you don't know what you're talking about. And I was like, okay. And that's the, that's the worst <laughs> thing you can ever say to anybody who's telling you something like that. Oh yeah. It's the worst thing. And that's the reason why I took a big risk last year at my LOL comedy shows. I'd actually talked about my mental health issues in front of 400 people because I was like, we need to be better Latinos. Like we need to stop doing this. Cause I'm telling you right now, you're looking at, I just made you laugh your asses off but I'm really having some issues. Yeah. So don't push people out that are telling you they are just freaking listen. Sometimes that's all it takes mm -hmm. and then encourage them to go get some help if it's really bad, yeah. you know? And so I'm like, if I can just change one person in that audience, their, the way of their thinking, yeah. then I, then I'm successful. And that's something I really want to do next year is I really want to work with a nonprofit of some sort or, you know, about mental health, because I, I really want to advocate for that so hardcore yeah. because I grew up my entire life not knowing what any of that was like until all of a sudden. Yeah. I never knew, dude. I didn't. Like I said, I talked to people and I that that were struggling through it. I just could never relate. And I was just like, oh, well, I'll pray for you, you know. Mm -hmm. But now I know, dude, it's ugly. It sucks. It sucks. Yeah. Because <clears throat> you look at your life and you're like, well, so you're blessed with everything you could possibly want or need. Right. Really need everything you True. need. You have. True. What's your problem? Right. There, that, it's your brain doesn't care. Not at all. It doesn't care. Mm -mm. So, anywho, but yeah, comedy definitely helps me. You know, cope through that <clears throat> sometimes, and sometimes I just can't turn it on for myself. You know, but I'm just really glad that um, so far, um, the past month, two months or so, I've been okay. Good. So yeah, I'm trying my dude, and I I'm surprised that I'm okay because there's a, I have a lot on my plate, but but I'm I'm working on, it. and I think that the little things that I'm learning in this journey that really helps. Yeah. You know, I used to tell people because they're like, "Why are you so busy? Like, how are you so busy?" And I used to tell people because if I'm not, then it leaves me room to think. Ooh. And when I think, I get sad. That was deep, right? Dude, that was good. Thank mm -hmm. you. No, I like it. Thank 10%. you. Ten percent. Um, thanks. And For, because but, I listened to it. <laughs> But it's true. Like I would genuinely like if I wasn't go, 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 go. Yeah. I'm in my dark room in my bed. Like I shut down. You're right. You're totally right. And maybe that's why I'm having a OK moments because I've just been in chingas, dude. Mm -hmm. I'll take it. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm, 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 I'm tired, but I'll take it. Yeah. Blessed and tired. That's it's a good combination to be. For sure. Yeah. Definitely. What about your kids? Like, how are they, how are they, uh, acclimating to your success? Well, now that Chloe, my oldest, she's 13. Now that she's in middle school, um, and I've kind of developed this partnership, this amazing partnership. And I like to call it a friendship now with the superintendent of the district. Oh, um, which <laughs> sure. totally advocating <laughs> for Chona. She's yeah. a big fan and whatever I need, whatever I want, which is that was something on my bucket list. I always wanted to give back to my um, alma mater in some way, shape, or form. So I'm really glad that she's opening those doors for me. But kids are seeing me at the games and they're noticing me and they're like, what is Chloe's mom doing here? And then they're finding out. So um, Chloe is acclimating okay. <laughs> um, she's like, it's a little weird sometimes now, mom, because all my friends want to ask you for pictures. So I'm yeah. just like... Okay. I guess. Um, yeah. Not and, a regular mom. You're right. A mom. I'm a cool mom. Right. <laughs> totally. Um, but yeah, she's, she's doing all right. And, and, and low key, I'm like, yeah, I hope all her teachers recognize because do not mess with my child. Facts. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so that's like the, like the, 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 what, what would I call it? The caddy part of me that I'm like, yes. And I hope all the teachers are watching. Um, but yeah, that, that's, that's, that's what Chloe is. And then Quinn, she's four. She don't know, dude. She, she will tell people like if we go to events and stuff, um, she's like, that's my mom, Chana E. That's my mom. <laughs> they're like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah. But other than that, they're doing good. They're Chloe, especially my 13 year old likes to come with me to all this stuff if she can. Oh, um, so usually the baby stays at home with, with my husband, Bill and Chloe comes with me cause she likes to watch all of it. And it's really exciting for her. I love that. So, yes, yeah, so I'm glad both of them are here to watch. Yeah. Oh, she's taking photos of, like, you on the screen. You know what? She's not. And, yeah. uh, Chloe, I hope you're listening <laughs> back there. So, uh, hurry up. <laughs> what are you doing? Come what, are you, no. what, what, are you, what are you doing with this? What are you doing with this? You could have, like, a daughter slash manager. 
I know. You know, mm-hmm. honestly, she keeps my head on straight. Mm-hmm. Um, she's usually like, Mom, I, I know you have that podcast thing, but don't forget that tomorrow I have like, but, 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 but. Oh, good. So she keeps me in line with my mom checklist things that are never ending. Yeah. Because it's homecoming week in middle school. Did you have homecoming in middle school? Why would they do that? <sighs> Four years aren't enough? You know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, no, I know. And then this week I made her spirit pants. Do you know what a spirit pan is? No, I do not. Well, when we were in high school, we just had mums. Yeah. And we would get them made somewhere. Yeah. You know what I mean? Somebody's mom, not me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh-huh. I wasn't the crafty. I mean, my dad was, and I, I was living with my dad, so like obviously. So we would just buy it from people. But no, now it's a, it's a mum. Um, and maybe like a spirit shirt of some kind, maybe with a school emblem on it or whatever. Um, so that was two bucks. The uh, mom was 55. Oh my God. Spirit pants. We had to buy her a pair of jeans for 28 bucks. Cause I sure as heck was not going to paint over her good jeans. No. From that store. She likes Hamburg Krabby and fuck my wallet. <laughs> and, um, yeah. So 28 bucks for jeans from Target. And then the acrylic paint. And mm. then, yeah, we, I painted her jeans. That's amazing. It says, go Tigers, Chloe, fa-la-la. Oh, I yeah, like Yeah, it was that. a two-day process. And that's because I had reinforcements. I had help. Oh. No, I know. See, I just buy shit. No, see, and I'm, I'm late. <laughs> I'm late to the game. So yeah. I had no choice. I had to do it. Oh. I was in Chicago, my guy. I was I, like, mm, I just right. too much. It's too much. And then, then you get people last minute to do these things and they... <laughs> rack up the price which rightfully so like you're disturbing their their schedule sure so i'm like well why disturb theirs i might as well disturb my own for my lack of time management the amount of times i've been up at like three in the morning making freaking crafts and things floats and no i know pumpkins it's amazing yeah yeah on top of that i'm promoting the show like i'm going on it's just it's it's been busy but i i i would you know i have to sit down and think thank god you know, like very blessed to have these these issues right now with the world For that we sure. live in. You know what I mean? For sure. So yeah. So tomorrow, what well, today was um, easy because she dressed herself. Oh, I love it that. was uh, good job. Dresses dresses the teacher students dresses teachers teachers dresses students oh day. Oh my god. Tomorrow is fudge. I don't know what tomorrow is. Friday's homecoming dance. So she needed a homecoming dress and homecoming shoes. And makeup and hair. Uh, and she don't wear makeup. I tell her, no, no, no. She can put lip gloss on oh. and clear <laughs> mascara. I'm that mom. You're that mom. I'm that mom. Yeah. And and I tell her, what do you want to put all that stuff on your face? You're going to get pimples and you're going to do it. You, you're not even washing your face right yet. Then she's like, gosh. So yeah, so we just do clear <laughs> mascara and lip gloss. Um, no, but she wants her hair curled. And so that hair curled, she's got thick hair. She don't have my three strands of hair. So I'm going to be up at um, probably about five in the morning. Yeah. Friday. Rightfully so. No, I know. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. That's. And that's then amazing. I leave for Fort Worth that day too. Oh. And come home right after the show. Oh. It's amazing. And that's... then Saturday is volleyball tournaments. You guys want to come? <laughs> no. <laughs> They're like, no, we're good. Why don't you just stay <laughs> over there, crazy woman? Oh. <laughs> yeah. No, I know. I'm tired. you some holy water yeah. something oh my god yeah percocet i don't know percocet no you'll knock out that's what i'm saying yeah what <laughs> i forgot <laughs> it already passed thank god <laughs> i feel like you need adderall or something nah dude i just drink a monster that's the thing i can't even have caffeine but i do it just to like give me some energy because i'm like <laughs> on caffeine it's so dumb i swear the first time I had a monster, I was still working in the office and someone passed by and I was typing like I was like this with my tongue out. You like that? I promise you, this is not a lie. It's how I was. And I was like, you guys, heart beating like, oh, fuck. That's good. Yeah. No, I know. God, but I love that monster. <laughs> me too. Dude, it's crazy. Honestly, though, like at this point, like caffeine does nothing for me. That's terrible. Like I could, I drink the giant Red Bulls. Like, oh no. I'm like, give me a 64 ounce. Allah. Swear to God. And then I'll be like, 
Really? No, yeah, but I, I can can't. I can't even. I can't. No. D- even coffee. I'm like, ooh, do I do it with ice today or without ice? Because oh if God. I do it without ice, I'm really going to be fired up. What? Yes, dude. Dude, I did an espresso shot, like a double espresso shot. How'd that go for you? Nothing. What? Nothing. Dude, that's like, that's a straight shot oh, of espresso. Straight. It tasted like. And I like that you said it gaga. right. Yeah. You said it right. I said it right? You said espresso. It is espresso. No, I know. But have How you ever you heard s- people say it the wrong way? No. <sighs> I can't. What's the wrong Are way? Are you ready? I'm ready. Yeah, let me have a, a chai latte with two shots of espresso. Where yes. are you expressing to? <laughs> to the bathroom. <laughs> that's true. Well, and that's the reason why I'm like ice or no ice. Because if it's with ice, I don't need to go pupu caca. But if it's with no ice, it's the heat. It's going down. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, if I'm lucky. It warms your belly. Yeah, I guess so. I still suffer from constipation issues. How you doing? Mm-hmm. So like IBD type. I have IBD. You have IBSC. IBSC. That is what I have. Yeah. What I have. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Irritable bowel constipation syndrome. It's a real thing. Yeah. I've been diagnosed. Yeah, that's what I have. I like it. No, I hate it. I hate it. I got to take a laxative every now and again just to kind of get things moving. How's your fiber? Dude, everybody tells me that. I literally did Metamucil religiously. Nada. Do you take a prebiotic, probiotic? I don't. Mm. Dr. Gonzalez, I don't. You should do that. You I, should try I, it. I'm going to bill you after this. For the oh, my God. Advice. I'm supposed to be here doing <laughs> fun stuff. Now I'm getting billed. Look at her. And that's why <laughs> she's successful also at what water, she's yeah, doing. Sneak attack. She's like, I'm going to write you a prescription. Yeah. We are not using insurance. You're going to bill directly. <laughs> I'm private pay only. God. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> All right. So we'll get away from the the like serious stuff yeah Yeah. i love it all right i do serious better i feel yeah and then this one time (laughs) if i could get you to cry that would be amazing for ratings oh my god imagine (laughs) i need a barbara walters we'll do this for your we'll do this for your um for a clip for your clip thank you you okay (laughs) i didn't think you were gonna ask that I'm sorry. Thank you for sharing. Thanks. This is real hard. Yeah. All right. That was good. <laughs> Tune in. <laughs> Find out what that was all about. <laughs> <laughs> or don't want to miss out. But you, with people with glasses, that's what they do. <laughs> when they cry. That was my character. I'm laughing because I take my glasses off and I cry. Because you know these are fake glasses. <laughs> Why? <laughs> They're blue light glasses. Oh. <clears throat> I Cute. feel like wearing them. And then I didn't put my lashes on because I was in a hurry today. So I'm like, this will do. It goes with the fit. It, it, that's how I felt. It was all a thing. It really is. You it's know? A thing. I like so, it. So yeah. But yeah, I embrace them. I do this every now and again just for fun. I wear <laughs> prescription glasses. So. I know. And you do that on purpose. <laughs> I and I do it even when I don't have them on because I have them on so often. Got that it. I'm like, what am what am I pushing up? Nothing. Yeah. I would love to see you with some glasses, Natasha. I bet you look like a sexy teacher. I get that sometimes. Nobody's ever called me <laughs> sexy. They're like, hey, Mrs. Frizzle, I love your glasses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> this, is, this is great. This is great. <laughs> Oh, okay, shit. so you I actually, keep hitting the mic, my bad. I know. What are you, you're an amateur? Is this your first time in front of a mic? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so you have upcoming shows. Yeah, I do. I'm so excited. Thank you. Okay, so speaking of homecoming. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Speaking of homecoming. Yeah. Dude, so I'm really excited to announce that I have five headlining shows here Yay. in San Antonio on the 26th, 27th, and 28th of this month, just around the corner. Um And when I got the call, dude, I literally without hesitation said yes, because weekend real estate in the comedy world is just, you have to pay a lot of dues. You know, there's a lot of dues that need to be paid. There's, it's just a lot of businesses and comedy clubs don't want to give you that risk of giving their most, like their busiest days to somebody that they just don't believe can do it. So the fact that they called me, I'm a local, I just was floored and i'm amazed and happy and excited so um come 
everybody come like it's gonna be an amazing amazing show i love that yeah i'll have a vip table oh totally yeah totally like right in front on stage yeah absolutely you didn't buy tickets yet did you Mm-mm. okay good because <laughs> oh, sorry i will no 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 that's that's good as a gift from me to you oh, for having me on yeah thank you fran yeah I but got you. every time you have a show I'm there. you have always been there every time Every time. All of y'all. AJ, you, Samantha. Yes. No, you always support. And I just. I love you guys. Thank you. I, I honestly am very blessed with with amazing friends and, and colleagues that I've met throughout this journey. Everybody's been so supportive. But but San Antonio for me, it's just it just it's very special. Yeah. Because the audience is bar none, first and foremost. It really feels like I'm performing for my family, mm-hmm. you know, and there, it's and a lot of these people I don't know, but they're from San Antonio. It's just a different vibe, dude, different vibe. And this year I set out to not perform in San Antonio so I can spread my wings and perform in other venues and cities that I had never been to before, which I feel like I've been able to accomplish that. Um, so when they called and said, hey, we have a weekend deal for you, I was like, I right, come home. I, I can't wait. That. So that's why it's called Chonai's Homecoming. I love it. Yeah. I'm I really excited. It. So who's going to be opening for you? Yeah. So I have Jose Not Juan as the host this year, mm-hmm. um, which he's a phenomenal host. He's hosted yes. a few shows for me. He does such a phenomenal job. Um, then I have AJ Rivas, which is another local favorite. If you guys haven't been to any of his shows or you haven't been to one of my shows and seen him on, he does this amazing bit with this character that everybody loves. Yes, it's a good it's it's amazing and this this uh, show in particular he's doing something a little different with halloween so Ooh. that's gonna be something exciting to see and then of course i have my friend and and fellow comedy sister michelle Cantu, who is also freaking moving so fast mm-hmm. in the comedy game as well she's doing wonderful things so there's no way i couldn't ask her to be on this lineup um so michelle Cantu will be there and then I have a lot of local comedy, or I'm, I'm sorry, local comedians um, from San Antonio that are going to be doing guest spots. Really? Um, yeah. So I have Clifton Simmons. Love you him. know Clifton. Um, I have King Quasi. I don't know if you've ever met Quasi Williams. I don't think so. Um, he's hilarious. But th- there's a strategy behind these five men. So there's five men that I chose. Okay. Um, Clifton, Quasi, Big John, okay. 747, the Big John, the 747. Uh, cousin Berto, mm-hmm. and then Chris Grion. I met love Chris. Chris. Yeah. So these guys, I, I put them on because they have been so welcoming to me in mm-hmm. this comedy world. Um, <clears throat> they've either have seen me perform or have helped me in some way, shape, or form. Um, there's a lot of people in San Antonio that have done this, but particularly the reason why I chose these men carefully is because they have no problem with me being the boss, mm. if that makes sense. Yeah. They have no issue supporting a woman in charge. And I just think that it's time for everybody else to jump on board. Absolutely. So that's my reasoning for choosing them to do guest spots. And plus, they're freaking talented. They really are. And hilarious. So they actually kick off the show. Oh, nice. And there's going to be a different one every single night, which I've been posting like a countdown on mm-hmm. Instagram. And I've been introducing each guest spot um, every day. So, yeah, they each have a dedicated show that they're going to be performing at. And not to mention, I have some surprise celebrity guests coming that I can mm-hmm. announce here on your show. Oh, um, So Thursday night, we have uh, Samantha Nahira. She will be introducing me um, to the stage. Um, and then we have Friday at the 7 p.m. show, the one introducing and kicking off the entire show is going to be Isis Romero. Oh. Yes, from uh, Ken's Five. Mm-hmm. Um, and then in the evening, we have Shelly Lattice. Oh, She's Shelley. going to be introducing me. Yeah, uh-huh. we have Shelly. Um, and then Friday evening, uh, the Late Late Show is going to be Cleto Rodriguez. I love Cleto. So, yeah, so Cleto will be introducing me then. Um, and then Saturday, the first show um, is going to be Bartender Mom. She'll oh, be yes. it, Angelica Gutierrez. She'll be there introducing me. And then the last and final show, I could not not do this without her, um, is going to be Irma Ruiz, who Aww. is the producer and owner of the Chingonas Comedy yes. Tour. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about it. 
Man, so it's going to be just, it, it doesn't matter what show, what night. What show, what yeah. night, you're going to get some crazy fun. That's amazing. It's going to be an experience. And that's, when I produce shows, that's what I have in mind from beginning to end yeah. is an experience. And it's, it, that's, I always want it to be that way. Yeah. Not to mention, there's a theme every single night. So Thursday, it's, um, I'm trying to blank. Thursday is homecoming pride day oh so rep your high school wear mums you know whatever just dress up spirit pants if you will Ooh. um and then saturday is homecoming king and queen dress to impress i love that so i girl i just I, my outfit's on the way and i can't wait oh my I'm god like, <laughs> <laughs> so and then saturday is halloween dress up so wear your costumes and i've had so many people already messaging me and they're like so dress to impress am are, can we wear crowns and tears do whatever Aww. you want they're very excited. People love themes. So it's it's me. It's great. I'm people. I no, love you themes. love themes. Totally. I really do. Like I want to be at every show. No, legit. <laughs> and I need to send I need to send a, a, a mass <clears throat> um, message to the influencers of San Antonio because I'm having a um, kickoff after party Thursday night at happy hour. You are. I am. I got that flyer yesterday because I am having a party there. The following mm -mm, Saturday. No. This Saturday. Mm -hmm. Oh, shalala. So if you can come. I know you're yeah. super busy, but. <clears throat> I'm at a wedding. Quinn's a flower girl. That's fine, but weddings end at like midnight. No, I know. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. look at her. Mm -hmm. See, but that's how you run your schedule, and I admire you for that. Yeah. She literally will be like, four to five, dinner with the kids. <laughs> Six to seven, homework. Mm -hmm. Seven to eight interview at the podcast eight to nine mm -hmm. like it's you have and you're and you do all of it i do wow my god i wish caffeine worked yeah no <laughs> i'm, I'm gonna tired. need it because like literally my friday and saturday are gelling together mm. i i work from 8 to 12 mm -hmm. i leave drive to dallas that's a five-hour drive mm -hmm. then i quick get ready show time at eight the show probably will end at 11. Then I'm driving back home to San Antonio. So I'll probably be here about four in the morning. Mm. And then I got to take my daughter to her Volleyball. tournaments at eight, which I think her call time six in yeah. the morning. So yeah, mom's not getting so. And then from there I leave her tournaments. I go to dress the little one for the church. Yeah. For the wedding and then the reception. So yeah, I'm going to try my best. I'll see you there. <laughs> She's like, so what about that? You said you didn't have time to do? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. I think if you wanted to, you would. I love that. <laughs> Bro. She doesn't She doesn't realize that I'm, I'm hitting my senora era. <laughs> if you wanted to, you will. How old are you, Natasha? 28. Don't you ever tell me if I want to, I will. <laughs> Dude, I'm freaking, you're Janeska's age. You're two years younger than Janeska. No, I'm not. <laughs> you're not 28 i'm 29 no she's not okay now i'm confused <laughs> what are you immortal <laughs> i'm 137 death becomes her got it literally dude i took the no, okay senora era are you ready mm -hmm. look at what she's wearing my guy <laughs> look at what i'm trying to accomplish here <laughs> Fucking grandma cardigan, <laughs> but I got the ripped jeans and the boots with the fur. All you right. Know, that no, actually, I, I I'm I'm digging my fit. It's cute. I'm trying my best. I like it. This is like hitting forty, but you're a little cash, you're a little hip. I like it. Doing my best. How old are you? I'm gonna. I'm thirty nine. I'll be forty next year. No way. No, for real. Yeah, way. No way. Si way, pues claro que si way. But you'll say. I mean, I know I look fifteen, but shit. <laughs> you do. No, I know. Not a day over twenty five. <sighs> Thanks, man. You're welcome. I love it. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to no, boost everybody's egos. No, as you should. As you should. Yeah. You need to, Natasha. I'm boosting. If everybody. you want to, you'll make time for it. I will. I do. She's like, and I, I she's like, it's been proven. <laughs> yeah. Time and time again. Yeah, you've seen it. No, I, plenty of times. I don't know how you do it, dude. <laughs> I really don't. I'm like, I'm a terrible friend, I guess, because I'm like, I can't move. No, you're good. So if you can try Saturday, okay. if not, I'm going to hit you with my birthday. When's that one? December, Please tell me to November. December. Oh, yours is the, the New Year's. Dude, I've missed the past two years. I know. 
the past when does it fall this year let's look at the it's Cali. on a saturday let's look at the cali <laughs> all right let's go <clears throat> okay shit mm-hmm. dude i'm getting hella text messages right now me too are you yeah. i'm so busy and booked yeah but it's okay you know, the but, 30th right yes dude that's perfect i know. put it in your calendar okay i'm doing it right now because <laughs> you can't miss I can't I, that three years in a row Dude. now that's offensive Janessa even came to my freaking crawfish boil and you haven't been to my birthday party a crawfish broil my guy no let her that, go because I don't like she crawfish to, no 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 I'm saying that's when she went to y'all's the was it the quince or the baptism the next day yes <laughs> Quinn's baptism she was all she smelled like alcohol still at the church Dios <laughs> <clears throat> That was your doing. It wasn't mine. You see, I don't know, man. I'll probably throw up at your house. I can't hang like I used to. I literally get a hangover with just one beer, a smoke and a pancake, and I'm done. What? I know. I used to be cool, man. Janeska's birthday. Mm -hmm. When I left, Billy had to pull over so I could hurl. (laughs) Yes. I was gone, my guy. do, Do you remember me leaving? Did I say bye to anybody? Uh, you're asking the wrong person. Oh, you were done too. I wasn't done. Oh, I but was like done. I was like I was mingling, and we had come from Zeus's show. I know. And the the hotel before that. No, I know. So I was I was. You chilling. were feeling good. I was chilling. Dude, I I had pictures with people that I didn't remember taking. <laughs> I don't think we got a photo together. You see how you are? I don't appreciate that. I don't appreciate that either. Well, wow. anyway. Wow. Moving on. <laughs> you can get tickets at theimprovtexas.com. <laughs> Fucked up. You know what? Just that we're done. We're done. We're done. I'm going to end this right now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for having me. <laughs> okay. No, but seriously, um, <clears throat> where do people find you? How do they reach out to you? You guys can find me at Chona E210. Just put it in any social media platform and you'll find me. Um, my little cartoon character with a hat on. And uh, yeah, and then you can find me at my shows, October 26, 27, 28 at the LOL Comedy Club. Tickets are still available or you can purchase at the door if we're not sold out by then. Facts, because they will sell out. I'll, I'm not even. In I, the name of Jesus. I've been to like every one of your shows and they've always sold out. They always sell out. So I'm like, fuck, I'm glad I And I think that maybe that's why San Antonio is kind of waiting a little bit because they're like, well, she's got five of them. There's no way not all five of them will sell out. Yes, they will. And I. That's what I, I'm hopeful for. They will. I literally, LOL, asked me today for my list of comps because they said, I'm just afraid you're going to sell out and I'm not going to have room for your friends and family. Ooh. Yeah, so I'm like. <sighs> Was I on there? Natasha, do birds flying? <laughs> do birds flying? I like that you looked away. No, but do birds fly? Sometimes, some of them. I just didn't know which answer I was going to give you. The one with, well, I was going to ask you today mm. or just say, yeah, you're on the list. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You can ring my bell. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, anything that you want to say to your fans? Oh, my gosh. I love you guys a long time. I really do. I, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. It's weird to say fans you guys are just amazing thank you so much for supporting everything that i do um and showing up to the shows and buying merch and and this year you guys have have donated money for me to go to la and there's just you guys are just so amazing and thank you as well for all of the amazing messages that you give me regarding your mental health struggles and that um comedy is helping you through it and i will continue doing it as long as you guys it's making somebody smile and feel better um because that's who doesn't want to feel good facts i love you long time yeah all right um well guys make sure that you follow like share purchase support yeah. all of that go get your tickets i promise you it will sell out and you're gonna be super bummed that you missed that it. you didn't go yeah for real for real for um, real, for real. Because I mean, go buy them now while you can still afford it. As a matter of fact, I was asked to, to raise the ticket prices this year, and I said I just can't. Good for you. I couldn't. I can't because it, there's there's dude, groceries are expensive. Facts. I dude, my groceries used to be 120 a week. Now I'm like spending triple that. Mm-hmm. It's freaking ridiculous. So I, I I also realized that comedy is a luxury. It's not 
something people need to do. So right. the fact that they're spending twenty five dollars on a ticket means a lot to me. And that's because people don't go by themselves. Yes, and they go with a group, and then they eating there. They're yeah. buying drinks. There's a fucking theme every night. You're gonna buy a little yep. hat or something. Like I mean, yeah, I was like, I'm not only that, but I don't take myself that serious to be like, oh yeah, hike them up fifty bucks a person. Nobody. We're growing. Yep. We're growing. So get them now while you stick in. So I'm saying. That's true. That's mm-hmm. all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much thank for you. being Thank you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate me. it, of course. I appreciate it. I know I was the number one guest of all time. Yes. No, I know. Yep. Put me up on the wall of achievements. Yeah. I will. <clears throat> Chingo bling getting pushed down. You heard that, buddy? He brought you up, actually, in the podcast. Stop. I got to yes. go watch it. Yes, you do. Wow. You don't watch it? No, I hadn't watched it. Wow. You have to give him busy, Dude, bro. already. Okay, you so like Chingo Bling's back up. <laughs> Chingo Bling's back up. Got it. So you're going to tell me right now, if you're friends, you would make time to watch my podcast. Damn. Natasha's popped me twice <laughs> up in this bitch. Okay, what did he say? Let's talk about it. <laughs> you're on no. Go watch it. Yeah, watch it. All right. What what number, what uh, what minutes was it? Imagine. He got You're like, show. oh, so you're going to fucking skip wow. all the way through it wow. just for that part. You're going to turn on like the captions and like. Skip no, but at least you name. gave him a whole hour. Thank <clears> you guys <throat> for having me. <laughs> we walked in. She's all, I got to be somewhere at 630. So, I mean, you got your kids and stuff. Like, it's fine. We'll just do like 45 minutes. I mean, I did give Chingo like an hour and a half, but it's fine. Chona. Like you, you, he didn't, you know what? You know, what? I'll tell. Hold on. I'm going to tell my person I'll be late because I got to give I know you're already late at 636. I know. I'm going to tell her I'm going to be like late, late because I, I got to give Chona a full hour. No, you're fine. I'm tired. No, I'm telling her right now. <laughs> She's on. No, now a huevo. A huevo. You're staying here. See? <laughs> you're it's staying too late here. now. It's too late. Look, she's just a, a hop, skip, and a jump away on that text. Mm-hmm. Texting machine. Mm-hmm. Look. Ooh, and she's pissed doing it too. Dude, It's the, it makes no one feel good. That's how I text. It makes no one feel good. I t- I'm a three finger typer. And then I, my Janeska says I text weird. What do you mean? I only type with three fingers. I'm fucking fast, my guy. Let me see. Give me the keyboard. I'll fuck it up. Oh, they keep, wait, what? I do three fingers. So I do these two and this one. And I type like this. I'll just have to videotape it for you so you can see. I'm a unicorn. I don't know what you want me to say. And then I text weird, apparently, How do you according text? to my Let needs. me see. Text. Let me see. She says it's weird. Let me tell her. Um, yeah. So this is what I'm texting. I am on a podcast and I text weird. That is, that's pretty weird. What the fuck? Because <laughs> what are you doing? You're like with your thumb, but then with this finger, like how does that even work? It works for me, all right? I guess. <laughs> Can't it's relate. my senora era, my guy. It's my senora Wait, era. Wait, how big is your font? Oh, no, I'm good still. I got 2020. Okay. Yeah, I got 20. With those glasses? Bro, <laughs> let's go. I wore them for my protection. I knew it would be lit up in here. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? It's These eyes bright. are gentle. It's super bright in here. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And uh, I put them on to look smart. Mm-hmm. I had somebody yesterday that they were like, what time do you film? And I was like, like it's one o'clock depends. in the afternoon. No, you don't. Yes, I do. And they were like, no, but like it's nighttime. And I was like, no, it's not nighttime. It's just, oh, I'm, it's I'm just in lighting. A studio. Yeah. Yeah. The, the guy's immaculate. The way he sets all this up, dude, I didn't realize this is what was in here. And you know what? I'm, I'm, I am a stickler for smells. Mm, it smells good, right? Fucking smells great in here. It's me. Good job. Thank you. I didn't know your Pinoche smelled that wonderful. It does. <laughs> he liked that. <laughs> he producer. liked that. The producer yeah. started laughing when mm-hmm. I said Pinoche. Mm-hmm. Well, fuck, I, I, I would have thought it was a Glade, my guy, but good for you. Thank you. What is it, like a douche? Mm-mm. It's not a douche. It's just your natural aura. I'm just born like that. Fuck. I need to do What do you eat? Uh, fruits, veggies. She's all fucking hella pineapples and mm. potpourri. Mm, basically, yeah. Oh, no wonder my shit smells a little, a little off balance. I eat mole and fucking... Like barbacoa. <laughs> like barbacoa and avocado and shit. Menudo. Mm. It's all right. I'm married already. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter. <laughs> It he's, does matter. He's stuck with his Pinoche for life. It doesn't matter what it smells like. It doesn't matter. No, I don't think mine has like a an order. Thank God. Mm. Thank God. It shouldn't. It should. Right. Because then there's something up. But okay. So my, my dad raised me like in those very prominent times when you're a young lady learning how to clean your tits and bits. Mm-hmm. 
So, um, yeah, I thought you would put soap in there. In so there? I, yeah. I was putting them in between the labias. <laughs> and then I'd go to sleep and be like, fuck, it's an itch so bad down there. I don't know what's what happening mean? to me. Okay. And at that time, my dad was a, an avid buyer of Zest Fully Clean. Oh, no. Irish Spring. You're putting Irish Spring in, in between your labias. In between my labias. <laughs> in between my little tids and bits. And I was very rashed up for a while. And I was like, but fuck, I mean, at least I'm clean. That's what I thought. It wasn't until um, I actually started going to an OB because there was serious issues happening down there. <laughs> So my stepmom had to take me, and that's the first time I got asked if I was sexually active. I was like, well, does a fucking soap count? <laughs> does a bar of soap count? Because I've been fucking going to town. <laughs> How old were you? Bro, <laughs> probably like, I was in middle school, so what are you, 12? Yeah, I was like 12, dude. Oh They're like, are you sexually active? <laughs> With zest. But Irish Spring is fucking me up. <laughs> fucking my shit up down there real good. The pH was way off. Yes, totally, <laughs> dude. Because I had like discharge. It was all off balance. So I had to tell somebody about it because I was like, I can't walk anymore. <laughs> Something's <laughs> wrong with me. No. So I had to tell my stepmom. So my stepmom took <clears> me. <throat> She's like holding my hands. All right. And then when I described what I had been doing that I was like washing with soap, it's like, yeah, you don't do that. She's like, why didn't you tell me that? And I was like, I didn't know I want to tell you what I was doing. I wasn't doing anything bad, like nasty. Yeah. I was just getting the soap, lathering it up and fucking washing my labias. <laughs> How you doing, producer? Are you still alive with down us? There? Like D down there. Like I was making sure it was getting in each crevice because I thought I needed to be clean. And then I learned that it's just water. It's all you put down there. Wait. <laughs> Bro, is there like a fucking Vagisil soap? Now, don't tell me, dude. No, there technically is, but I but th those aren't good. There's like natural soaps like that you can use. There's like oatmeal soaps and things like that. I don't want to put anything your... down there. No, no, no. But the, it's made of natural things like like. Is that why it smells like this in here? Yes. I'm Fuck. telling you, listen, dude. Oatmeals. It's all natural because you want to also like make sure you're like exfoliating and that the skin is soft and like. You're talking about clean. the outside, right? Yes, of course. Okay. I'm talking about just water on the inside. Well, yes. That's what I, I'm using. The freaking. You don't have a detachable shower head. I you do. I'm using the jet blaster. No, I know. I'm using. I'm, I turned the notch to the jet blast. Yeah. So and I, still, I giggle a little bit. You can laugh. <laughs> I'm like, oh, there it goes. I love that your kids are here. They're asleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Yeah. They're learning something. It's true. But don't, yes, don't everything's exfoliated on the outside, I guess. It doesn't matter to me if it's exfoliated or not. It's clean. Natasha. Do you wax? <laughs> Bro. I'm going to be honest with you since we're being honest. <laughs> no. So I um, used to shave forever. Shave. Yeah. I'm like I'm freaking old school, dude. Like seriously. And then everybody's like, oh, you should go to a wax person. I was like, probably not. I don't even like for the OB to look at my freaking panache, mm. you know, to be like, and then they ask you to scoot. I feel like it's on purpose. Like, stop. You already see it. Just reach in there and do what you got to do. But why do I got to scoot in your face like this? You got a butterfly. It's you shouldn't be weird. scooting in somebody's face, though. Well, they're still, they're right there at the edge of the fucking thing. So anywho, um, the wax thing, I never tried it. So anyway, I just uh, decided that uh, I've been married long enough. And uh, we're full 70s vibes right now. Mm. Yeah, just, it's fine. So no trimming. You well, like it, it hasn't strip, grown. No, like, it hasn't grown back like a monster. Just full bush. It's just a bush. Yeah, it's. I don't care, dude. You braid it. Mm, well, right now we're on the beads mm. thing. I have like little butterfly clips on it. That's kind of what we're doing, and maybe next week we'll do braids. I, I like that know. those are back. The butterfly clips. Me too. I love that. That's why I have it with it. I twist them so there's like three rows. That's cute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's cute, mm -hmm. and then. 
Next week we'll do braids and then um, <clears throat> then it's going to be hair washing day. Mm. And then I'll just do a little Afro puff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like tease it out. I'm a te- yeah, with my pick. <laughs> it's a little coarse. It's fine. I'll put some bio silk in it. That, that should be really good for your pH. I know. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Won't burn at all. No. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Natasha. <laughs> yeah, but I, uh-uh. so my husband doesn't care either. Okay. Yeah, he's fine. I mean. He let himself go too. Mm. We're both just bushing it cave out. women and cavemen. I love that for you. That's good for us. You know what I mean? Like sometimes you just, you know, bring it back to the basics. And sometimes we surprise each other. Mm. I'm not going to lie. And I always know. I always know. Mm. Because the trash is a little bit fuller, mm. you know, because he's got a trim before mm-hmm. he actually shaves. But yeah, that's when I know. And so then I'm like, oh, well, I'll surprise you too. And then we just let it grow back for fun. Mm. And then we'll surprise each other and be like, hey, the beaver's out. Mm. And he's like, oh, God damn. Yeah. Those That's, are for like holidays, anniversaries. You see what I'm saying? Like we've been together so long, we ran out of ideas. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? There's only so many times you can do missionary doggy or helicopter. So. Like I'm not new to like sexual activities Mm -hmm. no i know but helicopter yeah you just sit and spin (laughs) i just go real tight like this and he just goes like this and i go fast it's a fun one you just get a little dizzy but it's (laughs) fun because it's the way my equilibrium is set up i can't even do rides that spin really i cannot oh it makes me super sick i love it like immediately and then if he can get in the right position Mm -hmm. you know now that him and i've lost some weight he Mm -hmm. gets in the right position Mm -hmm. i spin him and he just stays there. It's like a little pin top and my panache. <laughs> yeah. That's what's up. This episode has been brought to you by Zest. Zest fully clean. Mm-hmm. If you're not fully clean, then you're not zest fully clean. And my panoche I was out. <laughs> I'm glad this <clears throat> airs for adults because this suck. Yeah. If it was on PBS. Th- there's no way. I mean, instant cancel. Yeah. You know what I mean? Fuck them. Can't win them all. Yeah, same, same. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I don't care. Okay. We're booked and busy. Facts. Um. So it's been an hour. I'm ready. You got an hour. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. So now you're back on top. I appreciate that. I appreciate you, Natasha. And now I have a new position to try. So, so thank you for watching. <laughs> wow, I was trying to have a moment with you, but she wrapped it up because the hour is up, so we can't even skin to skin. <laughs> yes, we can. Hold on. <laughs> she's she's <laughs> nice. <laughs> <clears throat> that's for after the show we do skin to skin got it <laughs> if you're ever a guest we will do skin to skin um that's why i wear a lot of dresses it's just easier on and off clearly i didn't get the memo i covered up real good it's okay so we'll just do knee to knee we could do knee to knee we could do knee to my knee. knees open perfect do you want to do it right now yeah let's do okay. it okay let's see let's see if we can hold on without me bring this closer flashing together, anybody I feel. yeah that's I, there you go Am I am I there? Okay, I'm there. Oh, there. Now it is. we're there. I'm in. Did you shave? Do you shave your kneecaps? I don't shave. I knew it. I could feel it. <laughs> I don't need to shave. Feel my legs. I beg to differ. Wow. It's a little prickly. Well, wow. but it's never okay. been prickly. You in can't my be. Life. You can't be perfect, Natasha. Oh, you, I'm not. You got the perfect pH PhD down here, mm-hmm. and you know you got to have a little bit of hair. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, you can go ahead and zoom in on that because I don't have any hair. It's actually pretty shiny and I forgot lotion, so. <laughs> Draw a smiley face on your knee. How? With your fingernail. Draw a smiley face? How? So that Quinn was drawing stuff. My my youngest was drawing stuff on her thigh the other day. She's like, How? look, up. when your skin's dry, you can oh. draw stuff. No. Oh, I've never had that problem. <laughs> Sorry. All right. <laughs> You Thank see? you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. This is fantastic. Twice. 
I wanted to end it the way Oprah ends it with her shows. What? I'm not Oprah. They oh, but it's endearing and sweet. They're always you don't like, think Nita 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 Thank you for coming. You don't think yeah, Nita 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 was good. Nita Nita was good. All right, I'll take it. We can hug. I'll take the Nita Nita. So you Sorry. don't want to hug? Because I feel like touching. Do you know how, how dirty hands are? By the way, people out there, not your hands. Do you, not wow. your hands. Oh, not no, my no. hands either. No, I know. But people's hands? Stop shaking people's hands. I'm not even joking. I just touched this guy's hands. Especially his. Wow. Poor yeah. guy. Yeah. You know he's listening. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, all of a sudden we're off the air. <laughs> Whoops. Press delete. Um, please don't do that. Um, <laughs> no, seriously, people's hands are disgusting. Why? Because people don't wash them. Either they don't wash or they wash and then they go and touch something that somebody touched or like that didn't wash. I, that's why I hate going to public bathrooms, especially when we're in restaurants and my four-year-old loves it. Mm -mm. It's like her urinary area says... We're at a restaurant. Mm. Mom's about to get her food. Let's fucking go pee. Mine right does the now. same thing though. Mommy, I gotta go potty. No, not my kids. Me, my bladder. Yeah. Right before mm -hmm. food, mm -hmm. in a public area. Mm -hmm. No, my guy. Yeah. You just never know what you're gonna find when you open <clears> the public <throat> restroom door. That's true. It's the things that you can't see. That There's a few establishments that I go to frequently because I know they have clean restrooms, like Las Palapas off Well Fifty One. It's good. And the tortilla soup. It's breathtaking. It's all right. I people know where to find me. It's all right. What? It's all right. Why? Oh, Las Palapas? Yeah. Eddie's Taco House is better. No, but I've I said what I said. Legit. Legit. I'm sure <clears throat> I'm sure it is. But yeah, you eat bougie food. I've seen how that bougie seen you on Instagram. I don't know about Eddie's Taco House. I'm saying in Jen's. Oh, I don't think so. The last time you posted something, your food had flowers on it. I think we're <laughs> case closed. It was for the ale. With a flower on it. The edible flower. See what I'm saying? Like, I can't. <laughs> I don't. I'm not. Exp I don't explore with foods. I'm very basic. No. I do. Like, every year, Janeska wants to have a, her birthday dinner at a new place. And I'm like, I don't know, man. It's yeah, but she's she's a foodie. She's very adventurous. I'm not. I'm I'm good with basic salt and pepper stuff. Mm -mm. Legitness, like the fact that I cooked conchas the other day with ground beef, and I used raw garlic. That was amazing. I need an award at this point. I know time's up. We'll get there. Thanks for having me. We'll get there. We'll get there. I mean, I can't have it all. <clears throat> a little at a time. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The first time I made Billy um, carne guisada, you know, you have to use flour, right? To make it mm -hmm. into a thickening mm -hmm. agent. Mm -hmm. Well, clearly I didn't mix it well enough because when he took a bite of his taco, he poofed out a nice little poof of flour. We were newlyweds, so it's forgivable. <laughs> but now I fucking tear it up. No poofs. I haven't tasted it. Uh, I'll help you out. <clears throat> I'll show you. And it's just with salt and pepper too. You're all ugh. What? No, there's cumin and okay, you know all that you. stuff. Like you the real cumin. What did I say wrong? Yeah. What is it? Comino. Comino's comino. Cumin's cumin. Comino's cumin. Why can't I call it cumin? Why does that have to be comino? Just because I'm Mexican? Because you're talking about carnizada. <clears throat> Fine, Natasha. <laughs> Leche comino y sal y pimienta. Thank you. Y luego leche bell pepper. <laughs> how do you say bell pepper in Spanish? I don't know. Pepper de bell. Yes, that's how you say it. <laughs> yeah. Chile relleno. <laughs> that's good. This is this is great. Yeah. <clears throat> time. Yeah, recipe book by Chona Oh, next. totally. Mm -hmm. It, all you need is two ingredients, salt and pepper. It's delish. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to have you over for dinner. Mm, you know. We'll go live. I'll bring my own. <laughs> She's all, here's mine, and it's got <laughs> wild orchids from the <laughs> Shalala of the Aztec Mayans. <clears throat> all right. Well, this was fun. This Thank is you. really fun. Thank you. I've done a lot of, I've been doing a lot of these media things and i think that this one was this one is special let me tell you why okay 
Not that the others weren't, but this one's special because we're actually friends outside of yes. all this stuff. Yeah. So it was personable and the questions were great. So I had a good time. So this is your favorite? Spending time with my friends. Yeah, you're at the top of the list of the media press tour thus far. So this is your favorite? This is my favorite, yeah. Thank you so much. No, I know. I'm going to clip that. <clears throat> I thought that would do it. <laughs> I thought that would do it, but... She really is a hand phobic. Okay. We'll do skin to skin. <laughs> we'll do it. All right. Great. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it, guys. Uh, again, for like the 10th time, like, share, follow, <laughs> go purchase tickets, do all, all the things. And um, follow me, Riverwalk Queen underscore Nordania 210, N O R N O R T E N O 210. And yeah, do it fast. I can't. No? I've practiced in the marriage. It doesn't go. Because <laughs> I always watch you do it. Really? 2 and 0. <laughs> it's hard. See? I'm all... Forget it. I don't want to ever do this again. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Guys, go follow me. And um, thank you so much again to Vapa Media and to Latina Podcast Network. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.